it's very easy to get overwhelmed in the ecosystem of the web or the full stack development nowadays. Because if you learn React, then they're gonna tell you that now you need to learn React hooks. If you learn REST APIs, they're going to tell you that you need to learn GraphQL. If you feel like you understand JavaScript, they're going to tell you that you need to learn TypeScript. Everything always is changing. Everything is becoming old really, really quickly. Either because there is updates or because there is just a new, completely new, amazing way of doing things that now everybody is following. What you should do in that case, not to get overwhelmed when you're learning, is to not feel like you need to check a box. Just focus on understanding concepts and moving on. You don't have to look deep into every concept. You just don't have to. We don't have to learn everything as programmers. We don't have to always keep up to date with literally everything that shows up. You should just choose the tools that you can carry and those tools might be limited, but you are confident that you are comfortable with those tools. For example, my tools, if I had to put them on a backpack, will be Python, Django, Node.js Express, and React, React Native, TypeScript, and Flutter maybe, nowadays. That's it, that's all I'm gonna carry. It maybe sounds like a lot, but it's not. I've been doing this for a long time. So if you have only four tools, Node.js, React, Mongo, and, and Express, that's perfect. Just carry that in your backpack and become good at those things. And slowly, slowly, you will be able to put one more in eventually. But don't strive to just know many things and be good at all those many things because it's just not gonna happen. You need to choose your stack. If you look at it, if you work with React, people that work with React are usually also working with Node.js. If you're working with Node.js, usually you will work with something like Express or Koa. Uh, if you work with Node.js, the database that goes the best with Node.js is going to be MongoDB. So as you can see, those tools are kind of connected and now, for example, if you work with something like Angular or if you work with something like Python, it's gonna be a different ecosystem as well. And it's cool, you should choose your ecosystem because that will help you not to get burnt out. Imagine trying to keep up with the trends of Django, Flask, Node, Express, Next.js, Nest.js, Happy, Koa, just impossible. And that's when we get burnt out. How do you know when to put a new tool on your backpack. For example, with me. I've been a React, React Native guy for a long time, and it's been a while since I started learning Flutter, and I'm taking it now seriously and building stuff seriously. So how, what is the process that I follow when I'm choosing a new technology to put on my backpack? Your most valuable resource is time as a programmer. Your time is money as a programmer. And now when you learn a new language, a new framework, a new library, whatever you wanna call that, you are investing your time on that language, on that framework, on that library. If you're an investor, you are not going to put your money on a very new stock. You're not going to put your money on a stock that doesn't give you any return of investment. And that is the same thing with languages. I don't put my money, I don't put my time on a language or on a framework on something that is super, super young I might do it on a weekend, on a Sunday night, just to fuck around. So I prefer to wait and see how it goes on the market. If it keeps going up, I just wait. Also, you don't want to, you also want to calculate how much return of investment you're going to get when you learn something. So you're gonna look at the job market. You're going to look at the freelance options. You're going to look at which companies are using that. If you want to learn some of these new trend, new programming language, new technology, that'll be my advice for you. Look for how old it is and invest accordingly. If it's, only, if it's only a year old, then I wouldn't count on it to be in the future for more than another two years. And again, look for return of investment, look, look for the job market, look who's using it, who's not using it. For example, I'll tell you an example. I like Reason, but nobody's using it. So that stock option is like, because there is no adoption, the community is not growing, more companies are not putting money on it. So like this. So I stop looking into it because it's not worth my time anymore. So think of yourself as a money maker. Think of yourself as a businessman and where you invest your time really, really matters. Thank you so much for listening to me. If you have any questions, please let them on the comments. If you have any opinions, also leave them on the comments. Like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And, and that's it. See you on the next one. Be happy and eat kimchi. Bye-bye.